When it comes to the Winter Olympics, one of the most popular activities to see is ice skating, figure skating. It attracts so many people. And believe it or not, there are opportunities to learn how to figure skate right here in the east. Right here. And that is amazing, Tamara. It, it, you can tell us a little bit about your piece that's coming up. If people have seen this on television, they said, you know, where can I get my start? Exactly. It could be right here in your backyard. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you guys, but whenever time I watch, I'm like, man, how do they do that? I wish I could learn how to do that. What I learned was that you can actually learn how to do that right here in the East. I started with the ECU Figure Skating Club, where they have dozens of girls come in and try out and join their club to learn how to do things like this. And one of the most amazing parts about it is you don't have to start when you're like three years old or five years old. There are some players there who are starting in their you know young adult ages in one of the coaches told me that they even have one in the senior age range. So wow. it's for everybody to come out and learn. And it's not just, you know, the jumps and the spins you see. It's everything. <laughs> There's some people who are just like to show it off, you know? Now, did you show it off? I, <laughs> I tried to show it off. I'm not as skilled as these guys. Yes. So you might have seen me fall a couple of times, but it gave my best effort. So tell me, um, you know, people wonder, what can I do with ice skating or figure skating? I see it on television, but not everyone aspires to go to the Olympics. Right. I mean, obviously the Olympics, they're great. They're a great thing to watch and a great thing to aspire to go to, but it's not the only option you have. There's definitely like show on ice, which is something I feature here in the story you'll see tomorrow about people who dream to be on Disney on ice, like seeing Aladdin, all those types of characters on the ice. And that's very cool. What, if anything, surprised you the most? I think what surprised me the most was the fact that there are other options. I mean, you think about it, you hear about it, but you always, whenever you see the Olympics on, you're like, oh, well, that must be the only thing. It's not. And what's really cool is that these skaters who are on the ice for Disney on ice or whatever it may be, and the Olympics, it's all the same kind of training, all the same kind of skill set. It's just a little different. So last but not least, before we let you go, uh, if there's a little girl with a dream watching, figure skating, ice skating, say, I want to do that. What do you tell her if she's here in the East? I tell her to follow your dream and go for the gold, okay? Whatever you want to do and, you know, don't limit yourself. Find whatever fits for you. And you can possibly find that right here in town. Right here in town. <laughs> Thank you so much. Be sure to check out Tamara's piece, Dreams of Glory, at 6 o'clock on WNCT's 9 on your side, Tuesday.